Shimai GTA Chums are bunkers discounted this week, so you want to buy it, get down to May's Bank, and um, I have the one, the best one is over here, it's about 1.6 million, you've got some over there, at discounted prices these are, so you want to basically get, I think it's probably the Farmhouse or Chumash, because all your deliveries are going to be somewhere in this kind of vicinity of the, the city, and sometimes in the city itself, so... Um, you want to purchase it. You also want to do the upgrades as well. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. So this is the bunker you get. This vehicle here, if you go and press E on it, you get a daily delivery. And you get you just deliver it for 50 grand or something. Just checking the radar to see if anyone's out there. Because the deliveries are in an open session. That's because we're going to get a bonus if we deliver successfully on this one. However, it is a full bunker. So I may not even go ahead with it. Because... The, the ideal way of dealing with this is to choose by one set of supplies. Once your supplies have run out and you have the stock, sell it. That's the way to work this bunker. But what I've done is because I don't use it too regular, I filled it up to the max. So wh whenever you're about to do a sell, just buy supplies. You know, that's kind of what you do, standard. Um, but um, what I'm going to do is um, you can manage staff as well. So uh, you can assign all staff to manufacturing. You can also staff assign staff to research this is apparently optimum according to professional but i i did 50 50 did a bit of both but you can't because i've i've done all of the research the research gets you everything as well the unlocks are amazing there's a load of unlocks i ain't going to go into that um, but we are going to do a sale so in order to sell stock we need to look at our radar first so i'm just going to expand that there are people in the lobby you know what they're going to do if you try and sell um, so they don't seem to be people right now now we're going to sell stock if you sell locally, it's 1.3 million, but to the city, 2 million. Absolute bargain. You're going to get multiple vehicles, and this video might not even go ahead, because if we don't get the truck, which will give us a one vehicle, we'll need some chums. So let's see if we get lucky. Basically, if you don't get the truck, you just restart, you get restart, find a new session, and you lose a little bit of product, but hopefully you get a truck next time. Um, but, you know, this is, what is it, a 1 in 4 chance? It's... You know, it's a reasonable chance, but I'm not saying I'm not saying that I'm confident. Um, let's have a look. What have we got? Five thousand vehicles. All right, not exactly subtle moving hardware in insurgents, but we'll make the right impression. What's Get them going out on? To the buyers. No questions asked. Okay, this is the insurgent. This is a truck that we can actually do. This is doable. This is a one drop, one drop truck. There's three of them. We can do that. It's a straight line thing. Um, you know the insurgent, let's turn the lights off, make it harder to track us with the oppressor mark to. Hopefully nobody finds our truck. Now, I'm going to go ahead with it anyway. This is one of the delivery vehicles. There's another insurgent pickup custom which is green. Now this one you have to go to each drop off. And there's about, there's a mul it's multi drop and at every drop you've got to kill people. So it takes a long time. You could do two I reckon. But one, one is better. One, if you're new to it you're going to do one basically. Oh, what is the police on me for? Come on. What the hell? I don't have time for this. Why is the police on me? What? Lester, the, 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 the mole. Uh, yeah, you know what he is. Come on, Lester. What do you need exactly? Remove the no wanted problem. level, Lester. I'll Thank you. Christ on the bike. Right, so these are the be some of the best delivery vehicles in the for this, uh, but for the bunker missions, bunker bunker work basically you just accrue weapons your little gimps make some weapons and then you sell the weapons to some shady dudes um, but we've got three of these so that'll be good um, but the other ve delivery vehicles I said one in th four I meant one in five chance because you've got two insurgents um, and you've also got a dune buggy and that's the worst dune buggy you can drone in a pool and also I've lost lots of dune buggies by incompetence it's got they've got landmines but they're a pain in the arse you can do like, one or two um, probably, I'd probably just go one on dune buggies and the, the, off, the monster truck off-roader you can do one or two on that but it depends on positioning if it's the other end of the map then two, okay I mean, you could do two but you might be stretching it a bit so you need to figure it out what is the best also, what I should have done for, with you here is I should have done it off the radar because I've got that um, but because it's an insurgent pickup custom yeah, delivered Come on, mate. It's a one-shop drop. You don't need to worry about any more. We're CEO, so we can go ghost. Um, but we would have gone go. I would have gone ghost if it wasn't that. But the problem I have is that all those vehicles that are just sat there waiting to be blown up. So two millions on the on the table, and we do get a disc. We do get a bonus. 
up to 50%. Any chums going to get get us? Okay, they're right behind us. So it's a very good business. It's a good starter business um, because I, I didn't start with this. I should have started with this business. Um, but the Acid Lab is better, but that's free. So you, you do the missions to the Acid Lab. But if you're purchasing something, I'd probably go Acid Lab Bunker because of the research. You get all your Mark II weapons from the Bunker research. And um, the Heavy Sniper is amazing. The ultimate weapon. Um, and it's got explosive rounds, uh, but you might not need them with a railgun. So for that reason, you're going to want to get a bunker at some point anyway. Um, so I would just get it as a business. Also, the upgrades, I'd work on them. Now you notice how I'm, I, I favour purchasing rather than sourcing my weapons, my weapon components. But you, it's, that's only because I've got the bunker upgrades. Now there's two upgrades, a staff upgrade and a machinery upgrade or something. Uh, basically I've got a model and I've also got a security upgrade that will stop your place from getting raided do not do not worry about the security upgrade because it's only when the bunker gets pretty much full that it gets raided this has been full for quite a well nearly full and I've not been raided yet for quite a while so yeah do, do invest in it if you're going to fill it up though but I'm not sure it makes a massive difference because it is a bit of a nightmare okay let's go um, I'm not sure if I want to leave this here Let's just uh, put this sticky on it. Basically, because I don't want to, to draw attention to it, <laughs> to that there. It's black, but, you know, people might see it. So, is that going to work? There we go. Gone. Okay, we got the weapons. we got ten more minutes. So, we got time for this. We have time. Just don't go setting off any police, please, with your rubbish driving. My chum, me, talking to me, myself. Um... It'll make you decent money. So this is double money. This is double money that I'm making this for this week. That's why I'm showing you this video. So single money is half of that. But we'll see what the payout is at the end because we got the bonus of a full lobby. And it may not be a bonus if people attack us and blow us up. But as long as we get in that second vehicle, that will not happen. Pretty much guaranteed. You need two Mark II oppressors. But there's, it's got a lock-on jammer on this. So they can't lock onto it. Any of your delivery vehicles have lock-on jammers. The problem is... The dune buggy and the monster truck don't have any armor, so they get blown up in a wanna. Um, same with the with the um, the truck. Now I talk about the truck. Um, it's the the truck with the shovel on the front, the that um, shovels everything out of the way very quick, and it's an articulated vehicle. It's tricky. You can jackknife it. it. You can really come asunder. So you need to be careful with it when you're delivering that delivery. But it's it's the best because you can just crack on. And I would always go ghost mode if you've got a full bunker you're risking it for a biscuit otherwise and I like danger so I do risk it sometimes I like danger because I've got 150 million I don't care, that's why I take these risks by all means if you feel like it's too much just do it in a solo session you can do these deliveries in a solo session if you feel like you're not ready for it yet then do it, You know, it's your game play it your way, don't be steered by me saying I'm going to give you a, a mega bonus by uh, you're going to get a mega bonus by having players in the lobby when those players can very much destroy you because it ha it will it has and will happen happen again to me um, but for the risk every now and then you for the for what you lose you gain far more if that makes sense because you lose like one in I don't know is it one in ten one in twenty it's it's, it's few shit maybe. let's go let's go with one in ten you've still got a bonus that's like fifty percent bonus so. It's no problem. It's gonna it's gonna cut it off. It depends how good you are at driving, of course. I mean, some people could be very bad at driving, so maybe it's not for them until they figure it out. And I I'd advise you to learn every vehicle and do it in a solo until you perhaps do it in a solo until you've learned the vehicles. If you're doing it in a wanna, so that is the best way to learn this. Every shipment, make sure you do it in a wanna. Don't do multi vehicle to begin. Make sure you just buy one set of goods and then go and sell it because. You'll get used to the vehicles. Get, make sure you deliver every vehicle and learn how to do it. Just so you get the experience more than anything. And because if you if you change sessions, then you will um, lose a little bit of goods. It's only a small portion. It's a minor amount. It's not a problem. It's not a problem whatsoever, my chum. But um, it's worth doing if you're going to get if the alternative is getting blown up. The other thing is you can have um, a set. You could be set up ready to. Um, um, ready to, um, you could unplug your, basically unplug your internet if they attack you. You could cheat and do that, now, which is not in the spirit of the game. But Rockstar aren't really in the spirit of things by announcing that you're doing these deliveries and put you on the radar and um, make it um, basically a duck shoot um, for people who want to destroy you and grief you. 
But this is one of my favourite businesses. I don't do it enough because I've got lazy. I just do the acid lab all the time. But it's because I've earned my money now and I don't need any more money. So that's the only reason I don't run this business. And the only reason I run the acid lab because it's easy and I, I enjoy the deliveries. I do enjoy these deliveries as well. But the problem is I built up more than one delivery vehicle. I can't be bothered restarting, finding new sessions, that kind of thing. That's the only reason why I've not been running it. But if I just did stuck to one delivery vehicle, I could just sell it. Um, you make decent enough money on it. But yeah, it's a very good business. You know, watch this. It's a very good business. Nobody's tried to grief me yet. Oh, what am I doing? Why am I going in there? What the hell? We don't need to blow it up this time. It's fine. Um, why, am I, why was I just going to go in the bunker? Who knows? Answers on a postcard. If you've got any questions, do drop them down below. Because hopefully I'm covering everything. Um, what else do we have? Now, I said the June buggy has mines and things so that's kind of defensive a little bit because bikers come after you and you just, just drop mines and blow them up but you've got to be careful not to blow your stupid self up and um, that's the thing with those mines because sometimes you switch back there's a it's multi-drop there's about five drops across the city and on the outskirts of the city so yeah that may, that's the trickiest one I, I find it the most difficult and the monster truck you've got many mountain mountain areas so either on this side the center or the other the other side of the map um, you've got the mountainous areas with drops and once you start doing your drops you'll get a uh, buzzard attacking you NPC but it, honestly just carry on ignore it and just do your drops I've got videos on it just ignore it do your drops and get them done five drops again easily done uh, you, but it does take time to get used to that one in particular because it you can end up falling off the slope and rolling down the mountain it's a monster truck if you haven't if you don't own one it's certainly worth it for the fun get those deliveries done it's enjoyable I'll just just buy it for free or whatever wasn't it free isn't it still free maybe the monster truck for sure get hold of it um, and try and test it out first and um, what else so we've also got these vehicles and um, these are the best um, for single drops any of these I think uh, the other thing is, is the one where you do multi drop it's another five drops at each drop NPCs will, will spawn and try and shoot you and they get increasingly worse the last NPCs have buzzard at helicopters so it's tricky right but just stay in the vehicle and shoot them any oppressor mark twos come at you get your sticky bombs out you can't get sticky bombs out in this one but I think you can in the other one because this one has a mega cannon this is for two player I suppose um, and blow the freakers up um, don't abandon your vehicle because as soon as you get out of your vehicle you lose your armor bo bonus so basically a depressor mark 2 has to hit you with all of the missiles go and restock and then hit you with a number of other missiles to blow you up entirely but if you stay in the vehicle it's much more difficult because it's like half as many missiles pretty much that they have to blow you up with so they can just blow you up with the missiles they have on board so that is it hopefully that's instructed you on what this what this is all about uh, while I've done that Wild West delivery and um, yeah hope it's been helpful I hope you buy the business and do enjoy it I think all the businesses are worthwhile except for some of the biker businesses and maybe all the biker businesses biker sales <laughs> uh, but this is one of the businesses that I don't regret I would never never sell it if I had the option to sell it again I would certainly sell some biker businesses except for the the top two <laughs> definitely um, actually i wouldn't sell them because you get the, the if you didn't get the uh, nightclub bonus that you get anyway i've talked enough enough it's a good business buy it thank you very much for watching have a great day if you are playing dash gta oh, what is this furthest distance without crashing that is one for me